Hey, how's it going guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got a pretty interesting video for you guys. If you've been following my channel for a little while, whenever I talk about getting your own gaming PC, I tend to mention that getting a pre-built PC isn't all too bad. I know there's always been this notion ever since I got into PC gaming, I've really noticed it, and it's kind of hard to avoid it, but there's this notion that buying a pre-built computer is really bad, that it's not worth your money, whatever the case may be, usually... What you see on forums, social media, everything else like that, pre-builds are bad, building your own PC is good. However, ever since certain PC components went up in price, things like graphics cards during everything that went on with crypto, RAM prices going up, and generally because with a pre-built computer, you get that operating system installed right away and you don't have to drop another $100 on that, people started looking at pre-built computers as actually compelling options instead of building your own PC. Now, generally, I would recommend you guys to build your PC. Usually these days, as of recording the video, remember that everything fluctuates all the time. But right now, as I'm recording this video, if you do build your own PC, you'll probably end up saving a little bit of money. And it's just generally a pretty good skill set to have if you do build your own PC, because if anything goes wrong and you putting it together yourself does give you a little bit of an edge, Instead of somebody else building it for you, something could go wrong, although there's a very, very small chance anytime that I've bought a pre-built, and I have bought a pre-built computer a couple times, whether it be for myself because it was such a good deal, or whether it be for someone else, I've never personally had an issue, but that's anecdotal, I've heard nightmare stories online, but of course... The nightmare stories are the ones that are going to be more publicized than those that are just buying a pre-built computer and having a generally good time with it. So just bear that in mind. But in today's video, I do want to take a look at seven great options for those of you guys looking to get a pre-built computer. A lot of good options and all of these are under $1,000 and we'll just go cheapest to most expensive. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Kicking things off, I do want to recommend the Dell Inspirion gaming desktop that Best Buy has. And by the way, Best Buy is a great spot. To get a lot of relatively cheap pre-built computers, sometimes they do go out of stock, so you have to be a little bit mindful of that. But they run pretty good deals on the time, and right now, this Dell Inspirion is a really good buy. It has a Ryzen 5, I believe it's a 1400, and on top of that, you get a Radeon RX 570. That's a 4GB GPU. You do get 8GB of RAM, a 1TB hard drive. And unfortunately, no solid state drive in this, but at this kind of a budget, you're probably expecting that. Anyway, $600 might be a little bit steep for something like this. However, at a pre-built range, usually you're not seeing super, super cheap options. When you're buying a pre-built computer, usually from a value standpoint, you're really getting that at the $700 to $900 range. At these cheaper options, I would say go ahead and build your PC if you're comfortable doing that, because at a $600 budget, you could probably fit in a quality RX 580, which is an 8GB GPU. You'll probably get a similar Ryzen 5 CPU, you'll get the 1TB hard drive, and you can probably fit in an SSD with the build. However, if you are adamant on buying a pre-built, $600 for this definitely isn't bad, and it can do some pretty decent 1080p gaming. Moving on from that, here's a really good option, the SkyTech Archangel Gaming Computer. This is available at Newegg, and it's available for $650. SkyTech has a lot of good options right now as far as pre-built computers are concerned. And this one is pretty good for $650. What you'll get is a Ryzen 7 2600, so a high-quality CPU, an AMD RX 580. Now, it is the 4GB variant, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but I would have to say that it's still a pretty good GPU, especially at 1080p. That 8GB does come in handy if you're looking to push 1440p, but nonetheless... A 4GB 580 isn't bad. 8GB of DDR4 RAM. You don't get a hard drive in here. All you get is a 500GB SSD. For a lot of people, 500GB might be a little bit of a limitation. Personally, for me, that would be a pretty sizable limitation. But I know for a lot of you guys, 500GB is more than enough. And given that it is an SSD... That's definitely not bad. $650, not a bad buy on this one. I would have liked if the 580 was an 8GB variant, but nonetheless, you get a quality CPU, a pretty good GPU, again, for 1080p gaming. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one. Next up, Best Buy's also got a pretty solid option on an Intel NVIDIA rig. That is coming from iBuyPower, and it's $800. Here's what you get. You'll get an Intel Core i5-8400, which is pretty good. You'll get an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, which still kind of holds up in price these days. And then you also have a 1TB hard drive to go with that. Now, this primarily, I'm only recommending it if you are looking for an Intel NVIDIA build, because at this price point, a lot of the AMD options are just so much better. However, I know some of you guys are dead set on an Intel NVIDIA option, so I wanted to give this a mention anyway. We have another $800 option for you guys. But if you're adamant on going with Intel NVIDIA, this isn't bad. Next up, speaking of another $800 option, that's what we have over at Walmart.com, and they've got a lot of SkyTech 
pre-built computers on sale right now they've got the skytech blaze which has a ryzen 5 2600 six core cpu 3.4 gigahertz you've got an nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti 6 gigabyte gpu which is quite good i know the 1660 ti is getting a little bit of flack right now but when it's inserted in a pre-built computer at this price that's not a bad price at all you also got a 500 gigabyte ssd here unfortunately once again no mechanical hard drive which 500 gigabytes again for a lot of you guys is gonna be fine but when you have games like final fantasy 15 that is north of 100 gigabytes that is something to consider. I know a lot of you guys generally don't think about games being north of 100 gigabytes, but as we get, you know, bigger and bigger games, it's becoming more of a regular that these games are huge. I believe the Division 2 is a pretty big game, not quite as big as FF15, but you get the idea. 500 gigabytes for a lot of you guys is just going to be a pretty big limitation. However, you can always delete games, re-download them, whatever the case may be. You can buy an external hard drive and those work generally well. Or you could just buy a mechanical hard drive outside that. Outside of the 500 gigabyte SSD, you've also got 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. 16 gigabytes would be great. Fortunately, 8 gigabytes still gets the job done for now. So this isn't a bad rig all around. And honestly, based on all of the PCs that I'm going to recommend in this video, this might be one of the better options. Quite possibly the best. So if you're at an $800 budget walmart's really got you covered with this one it is discounted right now so hopefully that discount persists for a little while another skytech pre-built computer that walmart has discounted right now is the archangel elite gaming desktop that is down to 850 dollars this will also get you a ryzen 5 2600 3.4 gigahertz it's got 8 gigabytes of ddr4 ram 500 gigabyte ssd so generally, it's pretty similar to the last PC. However, it does include an RTX 2060 6 GB GPU. So that's a pretty sizable improvement, and you're only spending $50 more. So if you have an $850 to $900 budget, this is a really good option. The RTX 2060 is a great GPU, especially at 1080p. 1440p can definitely be done. 1080p, it's really going to excel on, especially with some of these higher-end games that are coming out, like a Metro Exodus. I know it's an EGS exclusive, but still, if you're looking to play that game, you know, a 2060, even at 1440p, is going to be brought to it its knees at 1080p it's going to be a lot better however of course there are a lot of other games that are easier to run and 1440p can be done with the 2060 no problem next up another skytech pc that's got a great look to it as well the skytech legacy mini is down to a thousand dollars Typically goes for $1,100 is available on Walmart as well. Ryzen 7 1700 8-core 3.0 gigahertz CPU with this one. An NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2078 gigabyte, a 500 gigabyte SSD, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So you are getting an incredibly compelling pre-built computer here. This is a high-end rig, even though you're only spending $1,000 and maybe some people at $1,000 would still consider that to be mid-range, but I consider this to be a very, very good gaming rig. And if you want to do 1440p gaming, that's definitely going to be possible. You've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 500 gigabyte SSD. The only bummer is, once again, you don't have a hard drive. And at a $1,000 budget at this point, I would be like, all right, dude, let me either get a hard drive or at least hook me up with a one terabyte. But nonetheless, you've got the 500 gigabyte SSD here as well. For those of you guys dropping a grand, I imagine that you are going to want some extra storage. So just have it in your mind. Either stick with that 500 gigabyte SSD, which again, I'm sure some of you guys can get by with. But a one terabyte hard drive is generally pretty cheap these days. You can get a Western Digital WD Blue for around $45. Or you could even go the route of buying an external hard drive if you would prefer that, if you don't even want to open up your PC. And lastly, a recommendation from Newegg, the ABS Fleet Gaming PC with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti a 6 gigabyte GPU and an Intel Core i7-8700, so a lot of the price is really coming from that CPU. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 240 gigabyte SSD, and a 1 terabyte hard drive for $1,000. So yes, you are giving up on the GPU a little bit with this one. You're not getting a 2060, nor are you getting a 2070. However, you do get a 1 terabyte hard drive. You do get a Core i7-8700. So again, if you're looking for that Intel NVIDIA variation, which is just generally a little bit more expensive than AMD NVIDIA or going all AMD then this one isn't a bad option at $1,000. You're going to get some quality performance. Still a PC that I would say will be ideally used at 1080p because the 1660 Ti will have its limitations. At 1440p, definitely can do a little bit of 1440p, but just keep your expectations in line. However, with an i7-8700, that's a pretty good addition in this one and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and you get the 240 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. I would honestly rather have that than a 500 gigabyte SSD and that being all you get because 240 gigabytes as an SSD that's going to be able to hold your key applications and your OS. And then the one terabyte hard drive can really do the bulk of the work where it's hosting all of your games, all of those games that are north of 100 gigabytes, you know, 70, 
70 to 80 gigabytes. So this is a pretty good option, especially if you're looking to go the Intel NVIDIA route. That's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, some pretty good options for pre-built computers. I've seen better deals. I've definitely seen worse deals and pre-builds are not a bad option altogether. If you do want to build a PC, generally right now, I would say it's a better idea to build your own. But I know some of you guys do want to get a pre-built and considering you do get your OS from the get-go, considering you don't have to build your PC and considering from my anecdotal experience, I've had a pretty good time using pre-built computers. It's not too big of a deal. And I don't think that stigma of pre-built computers being the worst thing in PC gaming really exists anymore. So don't be all too afraid of getting one. But don't be afraid of building your PC either. It's pretty easy. Just see where your expectations lie. See what you want out of your PC. And then make a decision there. If you're watching this video at a later date as well, of course, prices could fluctuate. And I'll try to update this every month or so. So you guys have a general idea of what the best pre-built computers are to buy. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can always leave that in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.